MCU has just gone crazy with a new trailer of Spider-Man No Way Home promising the return of some famous villains, and fans are absolutely thrilled. There is a reason for this excitement. Spider, down on his luck man's appeal, genuinely iconic outfit, and unforgettably rogue gallery of villains ensure that he remains the world's most liked superhero. That's been reinforced by Parker's continuous presence on screen. In the last 19 years, there have been eight Spidey-themed films that have been produced theatrically. So today, we have ranked Spider-Man movies from worst to best. This video has some spoilers, so a quick spoilers alert. Watch this video till the end to find out which Spider-Man movie is the best and where your favorite Spider-Man movie ends up in our list. Of course, be prepared for some surprises. Number 8. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 2014. A shoddy sequel to 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man, although it has a slew of villains, none of them stand out, including Electro, the Green Goblin, and the Rhino. A disjointed movie with a lot of narrative, but one that isn't very fulfilling. It would have benefited from a more focused strategy, like the one used in the previous film. It was also a bad decision to attempt to retread the topic of Peter Parker's and Harry Osborn's relationship, which had been so thoroughly explored in Raimi's trilogy in the first place. The two Amazing Spider-Man movies seemed bloated and unnecessary, and the recurring narrative line of what happened to Peter's parents in both films was both strange and uninteresting for a Spider-Man movie. In any case, Andrew Garfield's superb performance as Spider-Man deserved a much better film than this one to cap it all off. Number 7. Spider-Man 3 2007 Spider-Man 3's flaws have been well documented. The ridiculous dancing, the overabundance of villains, and the jumbled structure of the picture are all well known. There are some positive aspects to the movie, but it falls short of the excellent characterization of the previous two movies, which both concentrated on a single enemy with an understandable purpose and made Peter Parker's personal life revolve around that to intriguing dramatic effect in the first two films. Instead, Tobey Maguire's Parker is more difficult to like, and the introduction of Venom to the series was a bit of a miscalculation. It had the feel of a movie that has far too many chefs working behind the scenes. Number 6. The Amazing Spider-Man 2012 Andrew Garfield took on the character of Peter Parker in a perfectly reasonable reboot of the Spidey series, and he did an excellent job of credibly bringing his own unique style to the web-slinger. Unfortunately, the movie itself lacked a genuinely distinct and fascinating creative viewpoint compared to the Raimi films, and it appeared to exist solely because Sony required another Spider-Man film to be released in theaters at the time it was released. Number 5. Spider-Man Far From Home 2019 Spider-Man Far From Home is the perfect accompaniment to the events of Avengers Endgame. Peter meets Quentin Beck, better known as Mysterio, who is really a con artist who masquerades as a superhero. When it comes to the emotional impact, Far From Home falls short of the Raimi films, despite a strong introduction of Mysterio as a superhero. But the final reveal indicates that the third picture could be a step up in terms of stakes for Holland's Spider-Man movies. Please take a moment to press the like button if you're enjoying this content. We really appreciate this. Number 4. Spider-Man Homecoming 2017 Captain America Civil War introduced the MCU's Spider-Man as Tony Stark's unappreciated buddy, entrusted with battling a gang of renegade Avengers in Leipzig Airport, Germany. Unlike the previous two actors' older versions, this film covers what student life is like for Spidey. Vulture is a superb villain with an intriguing working-class edge played by Michael Keaton. Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark makes brief cameos, which adds a nice touch to the film, even if it does feel safe as Spider-Man's first solo outing in the MCU. This is a pretty good movie, which ranks fourth on our list. Number 3. Spider-Man 2002 While Fox's 2000 X-Men film laid the groundwork, Spider-Man seemed like the true start of the early 2000s superhero craze. Sam Raimi's film established a precedent for placing the hero's personal life at the core of the plot, with a heroic action developing naturally from there. Almost every MCU standalone film follows the same pattern. Tobey Maguire's endearing Spidey was perfect casting, and while Willem Dafoe's overacting as Norman Osborn's Green Goblin is sometimes criticized, everything about this film made sense. It's still super entertaining to rewatch over two decades later, 
and for a certain generation, it will always seem like the primary on-screen version of Spider-Man. Number 2. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2018 Into the Spider-Verse is a humorous, creative, and well-written crossover movie featuring many Spider-Folk. The Kingpin has killed Peter Parker, and Miles Morales steps in to fill his shoes. But he's not alone. Other spider heroes from various worlds, such as Gwen Stacy's Spider-Woman and Spider-Man Noir, soon join him. It's a wonderful sci-fi take on a superhero team-up movie, and we are proud to say it's the second best Spider-Man movie ever created. Number 1. Spider-Man 2 2004 Raimi masterfully balances Peter Parker's personal and heroic worlds in one of the finest superhero movies ever. When Alfred Molina's Doc Ock's wife is murdered in an accident and his brain is twisted, it makes for a marvelously tragic villain, a scientist with good intentions who ends up frightening New York after his wife's death. Oh, and by the way, he's got mechanical robotic arms. Based on a well-known comic book scenario, this film explores the notion of Peter Parker moving away from the spotlight when being Spidey becomes too much for him. There are several memorable set pieces in this film, the most memorable of which being Spider-Man's attempt to stop a speeding train by launching as many webs at it as possible. As fantastic as live-action Spidey movies get, this one is just the best Spider-Man movie ever. So that was it for today's video. But we want to hear from you which Spider-Man movie is your favorite. Tell us in the comments section. And before you go, make sure you have subscribed to the channel and press the bell icon. We keep bringing you such videos, so stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.